In October, a comprehensive continental scale analysis of the carbon footprint of food production finds that the footprint of plant-based foods amounts to only 10.7% of animal-based ones. The Sonoma Rescue Trial sees a Whole Foods farm owner stating in court that thousands of chickens are cannibalizing each other on his farm. So we went from no cannibalism to little cannibalism to weekly cannibalism in just 10 minutes. Ex-officials at the UN farming body say work on methane emissions was censored after they wrote about the hugely damaging contribution of methane emissions from livestock. In Europe, Denmark publishes an action plan for plant-based foods, while the Stockholm Environment Institute call for a just transition away from animal agriculture to support environmental and public health. A new study maps the deep ties between big ag and Europe's right-wing politicians that are forged with alpine hikes, rooftop soirees, and free office space. Meanwhile, lobby groups fought hard and dirty against the EU ban on cage farm animals, which has now been shelved despite the support of 89% of European citizens. Also, the industry figures behind the Declaration of Scientists backing meat eating, aka the Dublin Declaration, is revealed with one of the authors calling veganism an eating disorder requiring psychological treatment. And Bjork and Rosalia announce a song together to protest Icelandic fish farming. Is that the right thing to do? Or I just don't